hey, this is your heads up to, yeah, five minute quickie. Five minute quickie that lasts at least 12, 13, 14 minutes. So you're getting your money's worth. You really are. And this is something I believe that if you just spent a few moments to think about, it would change your life. It's that big. It's that small, that simple, but it's that big. You really have to listen to this. It might just, as I say in the in the podcast, might just set a little cog clicking over, which is going to make all the difference. It might be the one thing that makes a difference, that makes a difference. It could be that first or one domino in the domino rally that makes a difference. It's interesting. Have a listen. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, my friend. How are you today? How are you? It's Paul here. Paul Clough. Personal Development Unplugged. Well, you've had all that, haven't you? But the thing is, I want to play with your mind just a little bit. Do you believe that affirmations work? You see, I don't. I don't think affirmations work. Well, sort of. Most of the time they don't work, especially the way they're taught. Mo- or, let's not go to generalise too much, but most of the affirmations are taught in the way that think of a wonderful saying and keep saying it. So you think of a saying that you'd like to to be, so I'm happy. Let's take that silly one, I'm happy. And all you do is you say to yourself, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm happy. Now, you wouldn't be saying that if you were happy, because you'd be happy, wouldn't you? So you're probably pretty down, because most people who are pretty all right don't think about that. They just become happy anyway. But if you're pretty down and you're going, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, what's going to happen? Well, your unconscious mind, I believe, is, well, it's slightly more intelligent than that. It doesn't just believe what you say just because you say it, especially when it can tune in to the way you feel, can tune into your internal voice going, oh, I wish I was happy. Oh, I'm so down. And so you're setting up a conflict, a conflict between what you're consciously saying and what you're unconsciously feeling. And that just doesn't work for me. And I think that's what makes problems even worse because of the conflict that you're you're participating in willingly. So if you can think of what you, how you want to be, maybe sometimes you have to think, well, what can I do to change? What was, you know, I bang on about this every blooming time. What's the positive intention of me feeling this way? Notice the conflict, deal with the conflict. And then, 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 when the conflict has been resolved, then you can look to find an affirmation that is aligned aligned with the way that you really are. Now, I ever heard this the other day, and I thought it was absolutely bloody magic. I listened to a guy talking about the Navy SEALs. That's in America. The Navy SEALs in America, a bit like the, I guess, the SAS in England. I'm sure there's other bits around. and But they have a saying. The Navy SEALs have a saying. Earn your trident every day. That's it. Wake up in the morning. And your only goal is to earn your trident every day. You earned it yesterday. You earned it the day before. But today is a due day. And you, I can picture that trident in my mind and waking up. If I was a Navy SEAL, which there's no way I'd be a Navy SEAL because I, well, I couldn't be. But that mindset, when you wake up and you picture that symbol, the symbol that, that if you're a Navy SEAL, you have been looking to earn that badge of honor that you've been looking to earn. And you're going to earn it again today. Because they are treating every day is a new day. Life starts here. I've woken up. Life starts now. This is the now. The past, yesterday, well, they've gone. Tomorrow, well, that's another today. But that's not here yet. We're in the now. Because if you think about it, the past, well, there's no such thing as time, is it? It's just a construct. Tomorrow, there's nothing ever but now. Yes, we can think of things and remember things in the past, and then we've constructed a time to say, well, that was two days ago, a day ago, whatever, and I want to do something in the future. I'm going to time it out there and think about it. But all you really have is today, this moment in time, not even this afternoon. 
right now. That's if it's this morning, by the way. I had a lovely, again, another thing about this saying, the future is only the now passing into the past because it's now. And I thought, that's so hypnotically good. I just get it. I just get there is nothing else but this moment in time. Okay, what we do with the now and that new future coming to be the new now, well, maybe we're we're making a recipe and we're creating those opportunities. But the thing about this is, you know, I'm not in the Navy SEALs. You know that because I was... But what would happen? What would happen? What would be your symbol? They have the trident. They earn their trident every day. Before they start, the trident is there. That's that's a symbol that once, once they earn it, they've got it. But they haven't got it every day until they earn it every day. What an attitude. That is a winning, winning attitude. So if you had a symbol, what would it be? Just for a moment, let's muse together. Let's just muse together. You know, maybe even close your eyes. I've been doing more of this lately, haven't I? But if you can, maybe just close your eyes for a moment and just think, what would your symbol be for a day been so successful where you have lived up to being the real you? You've sung from your own voice. You've showed up. What would your trident be? Think of that symbol now. I wonder if as you take a deep breath with me, and just allowed your mind to go deep inside and were to ask. Ask your unconscious mind for a symbol to just appear in your conscious mind. What would that symbol be? Your symbol for being who you really are. And as you get an idea, an intuition, you may not see it completely just yet, but I think it will come to you. Sometimes when we're not looking so hard, it appears in plain sight. That's when we go, yes, the aha moments. Yes, I've got it. And that symbol, what would your affirmation be? A bit like the Navy SEALs. I'm going to earn my trident today. What would your affirmation be? Because I think this is what I call an affirmation, because you are now lining up to be who you really are. So today, I earn being me. Today, Paul is going to show himself more than ever. Today, I'm going to learn to be better. Just 1% better in everything I do. What would it be? And if we're just going to muse, and you can open your eyes again now, if you were to muse this over a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a beer, maybe if you smoke, just a cigarette, it's up to you. I have no calling on that. What would you do if you sat down with a little book and then, you know, did exactly this again? Close your eyes and just ask yourself, what's that symbol of me achieving, achieving my personal best and beating it? What would that be for me? And what would that statement be? And then write the bugger down. Remember what we said, write that sucker down, write it down, put it on a card, put it on lots of cards, little strips of paper, post-it notes, and stick it on your computer, stick it in your wallet, stick it in your car, stick it in any place you can think of, as they say, as long as you can find it again. But so it becomes something. There's a great thing to do. Stick it on the door jam or the jam, the frame of your door at eye level. That's an awesome suggestion. I heard that from uh, Jordan Harbinger, from the Jordan, say it again, Jordan Harbinger show. What a great man. But one of his little little tips was just if they, if you want to remember something just put it in the door frame at eye level because there's a door you're going to go be walking through most of the time so that door you keep going through you keep seeing it and even though you know even sometimes you walk through it and you won't look at it your unconscious mind will notice it now that to me is an awesome tip and this is what i would do even then you get down to just putting the symbol down what would happen if you got an idea of that symbol and then went to something like fiverr.com and had someone just draw it out for you for $5. Blimey. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So then you'd be your own personal symbol. I know we have, in England, we have like coats of arms from the days of past, you know, the, the knights and the round table and all that stuff. Heraldry, they called it. 
But what would happen if you had your own personal symbol? That every time you saw it, boom, it changed your state. It changed your motivation, your commitment. What would happen if that was on your screensaver? Whoa, now we're talking. There are so many things you can do. And this is such a, a brilliant thing. And all it came from was listen to someone say what the Navy SEALs do. And I think that's awesome. Because when you're talking about people who are dedicated, committed to go far beyond what's sometimes thought physically possible, just like the English SAS and all the other countries have their own special special stuff, the special boat people and all that stuff. These have their own, it's not a motto, isn't it? It's, it's embedded in them. It's like a stick of rock. It's printed across their body inside, your unconscious mind. I do hope you think of that. It's made me think of it. I'm just trying to think of and, and notice what happens when I do the same thing with my cup of coffee or my even a little bit, maybe having a little gin and tonic sitting outside in the sun. That would be good in, in the evening, by the way. There you go. Have a little think. This is, well, it's about a 12 minute <laughs> FMQ here. The five minute quickie that never lasts five minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there's something there that just makes you think. Just makes you muse, contemplate. Maybe just knocks a cog over in that wonderful minds of yours, or in those wonderful minds of yours. And it starts to set like that domino rally going, just that one domino. And then it goes click, 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 click. It'd be awesome. If this has been a golden nugget, or something that you think would inspire other people, please do the wonderful, honourable thing of paying it forward. That's the only cost at the moment. Say at the moment, you never know what might happen. No, this is the cost. Please pay it forward to as many people. Because if everybody woke up knowing they were going to earn their stripes, be their best, be their, beat their personal best every day, what a wonderful world we'd live in. Especially when we do it with selfless service looking to other people. What a little planet Earth we would create. We would change things. You would change things. They would change things. Anyway, have more fun than you can stand and pass this on. Okay, this is Paul. Paul Clough from Personal Development Unplugged. Enjoy every heartbeat. Well, I hope you enjoyed that podcast because this is me, Paul Clough from Personal Development Unplugged, where I'm just trying to deconstruct, as they call it, deconstruct the complicated so we can make life easy and richer so our return on the effort and investment that we put in is magnificent and you can have fun doing it that's the main thing have fun and getting better each time so if you enjoyed this episode or any other episode very first thing i'd love you to do would be to pay it forward and share it with anybody and everyone you know wouldn't it be fun if you just send it to everyone you know that would be fun because that's the way of uh, this integrated field of learning where we just share everything we know someone will get the golden nuggets they will and their life will change and you'll be the cause of their life changing that would be awesome secondly if you could just subscribe because subscribe buttons do help they help you to get the episodes on your platform of choice when they come out no problems you have to think about it off they come ping you get it that would be awesome because that helps with just the rankings in all those platforms but also if you could if you ever get a chance maybe just a little review stick of uh, hopefully it would be a five star review if you're putting a review up but a nice review would be good again that helps the ratings which means if people get to see it because it's been rated better it means they've got a chance to to take the little golden nuggets that you would have shown and shared and they get to get better too and in all of that we're doing two wonderful things one is we're doing things that are good for you they're good for others and good for the little planet earth and secondly we're leaving everybody and everything in a better place than when we first met them and that includes little old planet earth okay anyway until next time enjoy every heartbeat bye bye Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. 
It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.